Hello guys and welcome to Mark Shrimp Tanks. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. If you're not, I hope you have a better one soon. Today we're doing Shrimp vs Carrot, so stay tuned. So Shrimp vs Carrot, right, what can I say about Carrot? They are full of better carrot team. They're also um, absolutely delicious for us to eat, so I think Shrimp might uh, love them too. I think snails will absolutely destroy them. I already know they will because obviously I've tested this thing out before guys, but I think it's interesting for you guys to see what actually happens when you put carrot in um, a shrimp tank or an aquarium because I have briefly talked about this before where um, basically carrot does not go off in an aquarium at all. For some reason it doesn't go off. It will get mycelium building up on it and it's an absolutely great food for shrimp and snails, right? So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to put some uh, carrot in some of the tanks, some of the selected tanks, and uh, guys, I must warn you as well, right, don't expect, like, balls of shrimp all over the place on this, because that is just not how it's going to work. You see, because carrot isn't your typical food in a shrimp tank, it takes a while to start breaking down, right, as I mentioned before. And you can kind of see on here, this is um, some carrot that I've had in this little container here, where I've hatched some triops in. Um, and you can probably just make out the fuzziness on the carrot. This carrot has been in here for about a week. And it has mycelium grown in it. You see all the biofilm on this side. If not, guys, I will get uh, some macro footage of this as well. So you can see it a little bit closer, right? So I know this is shrimp versus um, carrot. Don't expect it to be like your typical shrimp versus video where, as I said before, they all ball on it. Because that's not what's going to happen, guys, right? So we'll put some uh, food, some... Carrot. Hope you like the thumbnail by the way, I, I spent a little while doing this one and uh, we're going to put some carrot in and then I'll come back in like 10 minutes. But guys, I will also come back in a few days because that's when you will really see how good carrot is in a shrimp tank. It's also fantastic for your snails, okay? So one moment. Alright, so this is how we're going to do it. One bit for me, because mm -hmm. carrot is like, mm, it's the best food ever. Right, I'm just going to grow around guys and put this in to several of the tanks. And what I want you guys to do as well is I want you guys to tell me a sink or float. Before I go and do this sink or float, look at all these guys swimming around in here. One of the girls must have just molted. Maybe you can see if I hold the camera up a little bit. See the males flying around at the back? So tell me in the comment section, sink or float. Before we go in, let's go... Blop. And it sinks. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Now I also have some Spixy snails in here now. I have still Ram's Horn snails as well. Um, and snails absolutely love this stuff, right? So I'm predominantly today going to put this in the snail tanks. But obviously there will be shrimp in there too. And I put a little bit in here. This is the uh, blue steel tank. These guys have just had babies again. So I'm seeing like little babies in, in the gravel every so often which is cool. Right, I'm going to put a tiny bit in here I'm not going to put this in tanks where I want there to be lots of snails right? I'm going to put it in tanks where there's already a lot of snails so we can get some footage of it <laughs> Alright Let's so put you in there Blah blah uh, What about the blue velvet or blue dream? These guys have um, these are blue ramthorn snails basically. See them here? One, two, three. You see all the babies in the glass too. There's lots and lots of them. Let's put a piece of food in here. This I know this won't go to the bottom. But we will have to make sure it does. There's one, two, three, four big girls in here. Um, let's see, where else can I put this? Where you guys will be able to see some snail action on it specifically. Maybe this little cherry tank down here, this one too actually, this one I filled up yesterday with just a little bit too much water as you can see, but it looks cool, it's not overflowing. Let's get some into this cherry tank here. Alright, so I will be back in 10 minutes to show you the results. We'll get some macro footage going as well, but guys, I'm warning you, it won't be spectacular. On the end of that footage, I'll add some footage that I will take over a couple of days, okay? One momento!
So what did you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. Do you think carrot is a good food for shrimp? I think it is. It's probably a really good food for uh, feeding them like, like once or twice a week, something like that. Just a, an extra piece of food you could throw in. But guys, I must warn you, please use organic when you can, okay? Because just don't risk it. Don't risk your shrimp's life on getting something that might contain some pesticides, okay? So, um, today I thought I'd end this video on I'm not actually looking at the car because you've seen a little bit of footage of the car. I just wanted to show you guys these, these shrimp in action here. Now, obviously, a girl has molted in here and the boys are going ballistic. I love seeing this. So I thought you guys would love seeing it too. Look how many different variations of shrimp I have in here. I don't think... I mean, either my eyes are very bad looking at the GoPro screen or you guys are not really going to see anything. But in my eyes, the tank is just alive with shrimp all over the place swimming. Let me know as well. Can you see them? Can you see all the variations? Aren't they cool? So I hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Hope you have a great day. I'll catch you all in the next one. Happy shrimp game, guys. Love you.